Hey guys, before we get to the video, for more tips and tricks in the heating and air industry, please click that subscribe button. Thank you. Hey guys, Josh with Griffin Air and the new HVAC guide and wanted to do a video on Wi-Fi options for ductless mini split units. So if you have a ductless mini split in your home, uh, more specifically, if we're talking about wall hung units, you have a few options if you are interested in getting Wi-Fi on that unit. Now, why would you want it to be connected to Wi-Fi? Other than being able to control the temperature anywhere in the world from your smartphone or computer, what are some of the other reasons why you might? You may wanna keep an eye on it when you're not home, but you can also get alerts if something is wrong. So you can actually set it up to where if the humidity or the temperature gets above or below a certain set point, you'll get an email or some sort of alert. And so I wanted to just kind of give you a couple options and talk about those. Now, during the making of this video, there's really only about three options out there. Uh, now this may change, more stuff may come out, but let's go through those three options. And again, if we're talking about if you have a ductless mini split on the wall, you want to connect it to Wi-Fi, and be able to control it, I believe there's three options. So the first option is you don't have that capability. And I know that might sound like a bummer, but if you have a cheaper system, maybe an off-brand that no one's ever heard of, maybe you bought it on the internet and you had, you know, someone install it on the side and it's just, you know, they just don't have that capability. So the first of the three, uh, options might be you don't have that option okay so i just want you to be aware of that and sometimes even with some of the bigger name brands they'll make what you know what i would call their value series or their builder grade or whatever you want to call it but just a lower end less expensive line and then it will not have the wi-fi capability that the more expensive units do your second option with a lot of the bigger name brands you can purchase or have your contractor get you what I would call a Wi-Fi module. And you know, they all have their own verbiage, but basically it's a piece of hardware that you would mount inside the unit, connect the wiring, and then you'd be able to connect it to your Wi-Fi. Just real quick, a few pros and cons to that. The first is uh, they're a little pricey. Some of them can be three, four, five hundred dollars our cost. So I just want you to be aware of that. Another thing that some of my customers are not a fan of is there's not a piece of hardware at that point. So you still have your remote control, but then you also have your Wi-Fi module. There's no extra piece of hardware for you to be able to change and so on like that. So for example, if you have a conventional system that you put a Wi-Fi thermostat with it, you still have your Wi-Fi thermostat there. It can be controlled with the thermostat itself on the wall, or you can control it with your Wi-Fi capability. The difference with mini splits is you're now talking about two separate components. You have your remote control that you can control the unit with, and then you have your Wi-Fi module. So just be aware of that. There's not gonna be an extra something for you to be able to adjust that. And if you lose the remote control and it's not connecting to Wi-Fi, you will not be able to change the temperature on that unit. So just be aware of that. The last option, we have sold several of these, and so I think they're a pretty good product. I've seen mixed reviews online with them. And of course, I'm talking about the Honeywell D6. Excuse the uh, messiness of the box. It was on one of our work vans, but I just kind of grabbed it there. So basically, here's how this guy works. It's not a module. It's not something you mount inside the unit. If you remember back in the old days, and I think they still have them, but I remember when I was a kid, uh, you know, you could go to a store and get one of those universal remote controls and they had all kinds of buttons and all these things and you could actually control your cable and your tv and your all kinds of stuff with one remote control right that would be similar to how this works i would consider this that sort of setup and what i mean by that is just like your mini split has your remote control most of your wall hung mini splits have a remote control this would need to point at the unit like a remote control so what I mean by that, just, you know, again, a little disclaimer is this has to be able to see that unit, you know? So if you make any changes temperature wise to this, you have to hear that wall hung mini split beep or whatever it does to change temperature. So in other words, you can't put this in another room where the, the two can't see one another like a, like a remote control, right? So you still have to hear it beep just like you would your remote control. And because of that, one little disclaimer I'll say 
is I would, in most cases, use one or the other. Now, I'm not say throw the remote control away, but just realize that if you control the temperature with the remote control and then with this and then with the remote control, the two can't talk to one another. So you could set this at a really high temperature and set the remote control at a really low temperature and they don't know that the two are different. And whichever the last one was that controlled that unit and the unit beeped and said, hey, yep, I got that signal and I'm going to do what you just said. That's the one in control at that point. The cool thing about the Honeywell D6 that a lot of my customers like is, you know, it can be set up on a wall, just like a wall hung thermostat, or you can just set it on a table. You plug it in just like anything else that plugs into the wall. And it's very user friendly. It's not like you're going to have to do a bunch of wiring or anything like that you could actually purchase this. And I'm gonna put a link down in the description to our Amazon affiliate link. And you'll be able to get your own and just follow the instructions. You can connect it to your unit, follow the instructions and connect it to your Wi-Fi, and then you'll have that capability. And you'll just set it on the table or just somewhere or on the wall where it can see that unit and beam you know, the signal to it. That'd be another disclaimer I would throw out there is there is limits. So I had a customer that had a wall hung mini split on a wall in his garage and he wanted to put this all the way at the other end of the garage and he was not able to, it couldn't reach the unit. So he had to get a Wi-Fi extender in his house to push more Wi-Fi into the garage and then he mounted this further over closer to the unit okay so hopefully that makes sense and one last disclaimer i will say about this just realize this does not work just like those old universal remotes it doesn't work with all units now i would say most of the big guys um, when I say by big guys, if it's, you know, a brand you've heard of or you saw a TV commercial for or something like that, or your professional HVAC local contractor sells it, then in most cases, it will operate with this unit. But just realize there are chances that it may not, okay? It does not work with all wall hung mini splits. It's just like a universal remote. Try to program it, it may not work with your unit. That said, just a little thing that we learned, if you get the booklet for this guy and you do not see your unit listed. So for example, we had a Daikin unit that was not listed in the instructions for systems that it could operate. That particular model number was not showing up in there. We still went through the signals for the Daikins. I think there was a few. And we went through each one of them and found a signal that still worked. So just keep that in mind. So I hope that helps. We've installed several of these and I think they work pretty well. Again, it has to see the unit. It has to be a decent unit for this to even be able to program to see it and all that good stuff. If you have any questions, shoot me a little comment down below. Again, I'll put it in the description for you to be able to purchase your own, but I think you'll like it. The last thing I'll say is if you're in the market for a new heating and air system and you're in Virginia in the Middle Peninsula or the Northern Neck, Give Griffin Air a call. We'll give you a free estimate and the best warranty in the area. But if you're not in our coverage area, check out my new website. I've even got a little banner up here, newhvacguide.com. Check out that site because we've put so much information on there. It's as if I wrote a book telling folks, hey, here's the good and the bad avoid this or that. I've even got a whole page called no-nos, things to stay away from. And so before you spend thousands, check out that website. And finally, for more tips and tricks in the heating and air industry, click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.